Alright friends, welcome back. Now let's continue from the previous video where we were working on adding bulk delete feature on this application. And there is one feature missing. So let me show you that. If I click on this set box, then we need to mark every user is checked, right? And if we click again, if we uncheck it, then we should mark every user is unchecked, right? And then uh, we need to show these uh, delete all users button over here when we are selecting all users. So in this video, we'll be working on adding this feature. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to select all the users when this chat box is clicked. So let's work on that part. Let me go to user list and let me go over here and then listen for the change event on this chat box and call the method called select all users, right? And let's define this method select all users and first of all uh, let's fix this now let's define the state call select all select all is false by default meaning that this checkbox is checked or not so let's add a v model on that checkbox as well over here v model is select all so that we can track that state if it is checked or not and over here we can add a conditional if select all is true then we will do selected users dot value is users dot value dot data map over is user and return user id and we'll be storing those IDs in selected users value. And on the else block, uh, we'll mark selected users that value as empty array. So here we are saying that if select all is true, if this checkbox is true, then we will assign all those IDs to selected users value. Otherwise, we'll make the selected users value as empty. So let me show you. Let me open up the console. Uh, over here let me do console.log selected users dot value now clear this let me click on this checkbox and we have all these selected ids right if i click again now this is empty here we need to work on ui so if this checkbox is checked then we need to mark every user as checked right we need to mark this checkbox as checked so let's work on that part for this we need to pass the props in our child component so we can pass select all props to our child component so let me go to user list item over here and let's pass the props called select all select all and let me go to user list item and let's define the props called select all and it will be boolean and on our checkbox we'll add a conditional for a sect we'll mark have this a sect if select all is true right if this is true then we'll mark every user is checked so let me try this let me close this and then click on this checkbox and every user are selected which is perfect if I uncheck this, then that checkbox is removed, which is perfect. Now, let me select every users and click on delete selected. And it delete all those users, right? Which is perfect. If I refresh the page as well, it is removed from the database. But uh, this checkbox was still in, uh, there. So let's fix that issue as well. Uh, let me go to user list. After deleting every users bulk delete uh, let me go over here and mark select all dot value as false let me add some users using PSP audition tinker user factory let's create the five user let me refresh it and we have five users now let me select all users click on delete selected then this is also unsecured which is perfect and our users are also deleted 
so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one